Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of IKEA News. I'm Omolara Riegwe. The Standing in His Presence prayer song starts this Thursday, February 26th to Sunday, March 1st. Join us as we become a house of non-stop prayer. The theme will be the power of prayer. Reverend George Adigwe will be our guest minister for the program. Please don't miss out on the miracles that will happen in God's presence. For more information, please see Dickiness Treasure on Yindamola or Kinla. Please take a moment to fill out the wellness card that's under the chair in front of you. Remember, this is one of the ways the church ensures that every member is cared for. Mark 15, 16 says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We can fulfill this commandment by introducing Christ to our friends, family and co-workers. Here are some tips. Lately, it seems that we're getting more and more confused about what a church actually is. So let's take some time to set the record straight. Church is not a building, though a building can be used by a church. Church is not a denomination, though a set of beliefs should be important to a church. Church is not about Sunday, though a church should not forsake meeting together. Church is not about one person or personality, though every church should be pastored. And church is not about size or growth, though every church is called to make disciples. So don't think of church as an address or a location, but rather think of church as mobile and on the move. Don't think of church as something built or planted, but rather think of church as something deployed. Don't think of church as where you are for an hour each week, but rather what you are every day of the week, because the church is the hands and feet of Jesus Christ. Feet shouldn't sit still. Hands shouldn't be idle. Feet go. Hands do. This is the church. Church isn't what you're sitting through right now, because you are the church. Now go and be the church. The CEDG grant application has been extended. The Commission's Community Economic Development Grant Program is funded by the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity to provide grants to new or expanding African-American small businesses with 40 or fewer employees operating within the city of Chicago and surrounding areas. Application now closes March 2nd at 11.59 p.m. For more information on how to apply, please see Dikambaya Oluwale or Mr. Charles Dubo. February is Black History Month. But why? Where did Black History Month come from? It began with this man, Carter G. Woodson, a historian and writer. Woodson noticed that his people were, quote, overlooked, ignored, and even suppressed by the writers of history textbooks and the teachers who use them, end quote. So he started a Black History Week in 1926, and people celebrated it enthusiastically. They started Black History Clubs, and teachers started recognizing the contributions of Black Americans in their classrooms. He chose February, by the way, because it held the birthdays of both Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass, two men he believed had done tremendous work for the rights and liberties of African Americans. It took another 50 years, though, for Black History Month to become officially recognized by our government. The president at the time, Gerald Ford, said that we should seize the opportunity to honor the two often neglected accomplishments of black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our history. Here's the funny thing, though. Carter G. Woodson hoped that someday people would no longer celebrate Black History Month. 
He saw the day when it would no longer be necessary, when finally we would see black history in America for what it really is, an essential part of American history. Reflections Drama Ministry believes that drama is not just for entertainment, but a way to explore life's issues from a Christian perspective. If you desire to minister through drama and would like to join Reflections, please see Teju Adeshida. The Jesus House Network Group is having a taste of network on March 1st, right after the service in the Rio Booth Cafe. The Singles Ministry of Jesus House Chicago is inviting all singles to stay behind for a meeting today right after the service. For more information, please see Pastor Isoke Aiwereoba. Here are this week's programs. Join the Early Risers prayer line from Monday to Friday at 6 a.m. The phone number and access code are on the screen and in your tuning bulletin. For more information about our weekly services, see your tuning bulletin or stop by the help desk or visit our website www.jesushouse.org or connect with us on social media. Thank you for joining us. I'm Omolara Riagba. From all of us here at IK News, enjoy the rest of the service and take a word home with you. <laughs>